I'm from South Florida, so I'm used to storms. She from California. Hey guys, finally my room is complete. Says men always want to chase her. If you love her once, won't ever replace her. Earthquakes, they don't shake her. But she says, My words break her walls down. Brick by brick, I'll pull your heartstrings. Brick by brick, make you love me. Hey girl, let me build you up. Play an optimist, let me fill your cup. Hey girl, this is definitely love. Hey girl. Definitely love Brick by brick Brick by brick Found love on a cruise ship So I'm used to heartbreak She's been My goal was to have enough space Where I can store all of my craft supplies My makeup Where I get dolled up If you haven't seen my vanity tour That I posted a while back it's pretty much the same. I did update a few things, which I'll show you in here. Combining my closet, crafting area, office where I edit videos, and a studio setup where I can film different types of backdrops. If you're interested in knowing how to build your own backdrop with additional storage, it's a quick idea. And I also got a lot of comments on DIY very light backdrop. Stay tuned for that. And having a studio, I can post more frequently with style ideas, DIYs, and also tutorials like makeup and so forth. I'll have all my social media links down below with a list of items in the video so that you know where I got everything. If you want to see a makeup collection or a bedroom tour, just comment down below and yeah, I'll get those posted for you. Let's begin with my closet. Walking in, this is a guest bedroom that could fit a queen size bed with a little wiggle room in here. So it was a challenge to cram everything, but I think I did it. This room resembles a small attic because of the slanted ceiling. So I used these IKEA lack shelf units to create a partition, but also kept the space open since this room looks like it's big, but it's not. It's an illusion, and yeah, when you see things open, it just looks super big. I with new art prints from money can buy lipstick blogger I follow her on Instagram she has awesome decor ideas I'm inspired by her to check out her Etsy's cute shop back to the six lakh units and went from a closet storage wall divider into a backdrop stand by placing the shelves I didn't use on the other side to the top to hold my backdrop materials I taped some white seamless backdrop paper to hide the lines so it could look more like a wall I use hot glue to connect these six lax shelf units together and these acrylic risers. It gives a strong hold and won't damage the units when I do plan to break them apart in the future when we move. Anyways, it's a great way to make it into a movable wall so it's strong enough to do that. Remember my DIY when I use these My Overlays fret panels for my vanity and office desk? Well, I decided to place it here on the wall to fancy it up. Film it just with the wall itself or change up the background and add props if I wanted to. This is what it looks like behind the scenes while making those YouTube videos for you guys. Yes or no for a how to film edit tutorial because it's harder than it looks, trust me. I still use a garment rack to hold new hauls and pull out things I haven't worn in a long minute to wear before I can do any more shopping. It helps control my clothing budget. I found this lattice accent table at Target and use gold spray paints to glam it up. I love gold. This is the long awaited curtain backdrop. Without the curtains, it could be a major distraction when I'm working since my office this is right next to the closet. I don't know how so quickly you got a hold of me. Why how to do this very light backdrop. Well, the first thing you're going to need is your measuring tape. You're going to measure the length of the ceiling that you want to place this. It's affordable to do depending on what lights you use. You can use those 
Christmas icicle lights. I personally use the curtain string lights because it's easier to set up with all the tangles. I ordered two of those on Amazon. I have that link down below. They have different light settings. I think they come in 8 or 10 settings where like blinks or strobe and all that stuff. These are great to hook on the lights. It says light eclipse on those. They are removable and they won't damage your wall. I remember the pie. Last glance ripped out my heart And I don't know how so quickly You let go of me The next thing I grabbed was two curtain rods Any place that sells curtains This cost me, I think, under $4 A set can extend from 48 to 84 inches So you may need just one of these curtain rods It comes with two brackets I used three per curtain rod Because mine was really long But you can use two of these Four screws They're not tape These will hold onto the ceilings Then I drew a line following my curtain rod To know where I'm going to be placing these brackets on. Take a screwdriver, screw it into the ceiling. And I install the brackets facing the opposite direction of each other to prevent the rod from falling down. Onto your curtain rod, which will snap. See, it's not going to go anywhere. Now, for people that are afraid to drill holes into their ceilings, you could also use command strips and the hook style hooks that you can use to hang your clothes with i thread all the sheer curtains onto my curtain rod hook it onto the brackets add less if you want it to be very sheer or add more if you want that extra fluffy volume to your backdrop so it's really up to you on how sheer or dense your curtains you want it to be for the lights to see through it it has this romantic glow effect i also added my do yourself garland tassels there's a ton of tutorials on youtube and blogs if you're interested but if you want to know how i did it ask down below it's so pretty at night when i'm editing it's like seeing fireflies or stars i turned this corner into a walk-in i took advantage of the heights in my room for a floor to ceiling storage solution from ikea called the stoneman they have one at the container store for like five to ten times more which is ridiculous with the stoneman i can add more shelves and drawers as an option up top are cues for my accessories like holding my sunglasses on this rack i ordered from amazon i like the way it looks it makes me feel like i'm shopping my closet I ordered wholesale hangers to save some money in bulk and it looks nice to have hangers that are matching. It gives a nice flow. The first drawer, I have my dresses. I use this divider from the container store. It has a spring in it to adjust to any size drawers. It comes in a pack of two. Over here, I added floating shelves using a ruler, pencil, and a drill. It's pretty dark in my closet, so I installed my DIY vanity light mirror. Click here to learn how, and many of you have done it. Love seeing the tags on Instagram of your vanity setup. It's so glam. I'm just so proud of you guys. My DIYers. Over here, I have my Calyx unit to save space to store my clothing like knits and jeans. Also, my accessories. In here, I stacked my Muji drawers, the 2 and 5 style, to hold my go-to accessories. Originally, it was in my vanity, but I didn't need it anymore, so I can see all my jewelry now. Inside the drawers, more fun jewelry displayed in these velvet holders for rings, bracelets, earrings, and some of my dainty necklaces. I got these from Michael's Arts and Crafts store. My staple necklaces are laid out in rows so that they don't get tangled up. A necklace display from Amazon. I made some extra tassels for my decor. They look like pom-poms. Super cute. I made a box display a while back on my channel, so check it out to avoid dust on things. Inside, I have my rings some glasses I can't see without them so I usually wear contacts I also have my beanies and gloves because winter is here I like to pick up jewelry dishes I have a set of Eiffel towers a bird bath and a unicorn one on my office desk an empty space over here which needs to be filled up for now it's my DIY wall art displayed I have the tutorial on my channel on my Ikby shelf I have shoes on top 
Underneath, I hang my outfits I plan to wear on a stemware rack that is used for storing wine glasses. I used to throw clothes all over the floor while deciding what to wear for the day. This helps keep things neat and organized. All my pants and sweaters are folded in here instead of being hanged to save a lot of space in my closet. What I do hang up are my dressy tops, blouses, jackets, winter coats, shorts, and skirts. This is the IKEA Stoneman 2 section to have the ability to adjust the clothes rail bars at any height. How it looks from the back and the front as an open style closet. I added LED puck lights for lighting and ambience. These shelves can hold two rows back to back of shoes. More floating wall shelves over here. I took apart one of my closet made cubes and use it as a purse divider on top of my Target bookcase. I'm always at Target. Gotta love that store. They always have the greatest decor things ever. I am vertically challenged and I use this long hanger hook that you may have seen these at the mall to reach clothes too high. When I'm done, I place it on the lower clothes rail for accessibility. I always had a difficult time finding the right belts without making a huge mess all over, so I use these shower hooks and rings to get myself organized and get the belt that I need. Onto my vanity station, my favorite place to be. I talk a lot about it in my other video on how I customize an IKEA PAX wardrobe for a closet into my makeup area. Check out that video if you haven't watched it because it's pretty detailed. I'm just going to mention the new addition storage in my DIY idea for a vanity. So up here I have my DIY bookends to hold my makeup palettes. On the left side it's pretty much the same. I just change up the wall art. In the glass compliment drawer, I still keep my foundations in here and makeup removers. The bottom drawers are the same with the same hair products and tools I had last time. On the right side of my vanity is where I added new pull-out trays and dividers from IKEA. Yep, IKEA. First, show you my idea of a tabletop that can be placed as a protective top of a desk and a drawer like how I have it here to place things on top. I use it to give me more leg space while doing my makeup and avoid makeup residue getting into my products. When I'm putting on makeup, I'm always having face powders all over my desk, eyeshadow, foundation everywhere. It's a breeze to clean up. It cost me $15. I got it done at Lowe's. It's a hardware store. They have this in many different hardware stores. You can get acrylic sheets online too so I have a link down below for one and you can also cut these yourself if you want. I have the tool and the link of how you can do it down below so check it out. I personally just went to the store, got the sheets there that I wanted and had the person cut it for me. Before I went, I made sure to have my measurements down because because the first time I made a mistake and had to cut it myself. Because it was too big, I just used a scoring tool to do that. Tutorial is down below. I added four complement pull out trays to store my growing makeup collection. I can see all of my makeup displayed neatly. That's what I wanted. I ordered two divider inserts. They're acrylic and they come in three sizes. The cost starts at $5. I placed this in the bottom one too to organize my brushes and skincare products. In the second drawer is the pulled out glass drawer. I have all my Muji drawers in here to hold all my lipsticks, concealers, eyeliners, lip liners, what else? eyeshadow bases. If you want to see a full makeup collection, definitely comment that down below and I'll get to it. Now the third tray is a basic pulled out tray. I have my blushes, my bronzers, the fourth one is the same. Just new products I need to get to try. The fifth one is a basic drawer which I've shown in the past. The addition is the acrylic sheet on top to protect all my eyelashes from collecting dust. And yeah, I just like it. This looks so clean. She from California says it ain't the norm. I'm very happy that I installed the vanity door mirrors and added more mirrors in my room because it creates the illusion of a spacious room that I end up getting two of these babies. I spray painted them white to blend into my wall because I couldn't find anything affordable. This area is all about IKEA, all my crafting supply storage, except the storage boxes that contains additional fabrics, tools, things that are bulky that I couldn't fit in my desk. Now. I got these from the container store for $5 called Our Best Box. 
I updated from a plain white box with some black tape for stripes and gold polka dots with a gold sharpie. On the right, this is my nail art station where I do my nails. I have these Riba picture ledges. You can find these at Target too. And here I have my nail care products and my nail art supplies from Amazon. In this nook, I have my put on the ball wall art that lights up tutorials on my channel if you missed that. I installed my chandelier lighting with the help of Christian. He was my muscle. Down, brick by brick. It was actually easy to install so I will be doing a tutorial on this for my dining room when I get around to it. In the middle of my room, I placed my no so faux fur on top of my closet made bench. My cats love sleeping on it. I usually do my hair standing up. I just like using the floor length mirror to do so and give me a break from sitting all day. I use these bins I found at the dollar spot at Target. It contains my hair tools, combs and brushes, and cleaning supplies like my Windex and bleach. On top of my rug that I got from TJ Maxx, I have a storage ottoman from Amazon. It has a hidden compartment. I sit on it when I'm putting on my shoes or if I can't reach something up top. This is my desk where I edit, craft, check emails, and do Skype meetings. I found this large tabletop at IKEA online called the Galant. It comes with a metal frame which I should have used before gluing the Alex drawers to these because I couldn't reach the top drawer. I have to pull things from the side. Yeah, I didn't plan ahead. Best to plan and not be building things impulsively like I did. If you plan to make your own desk, add the Alex drawer facing vertically out or have the Alex drawer flush to the front of the desk instead of the back. Most of the drawers contain my craft supplies like sewing kit, lace trimming, ribbons, more glitter, paint brushes. Over here are some of my journals and office materials, some fall fabrics and paints. In here I have a lot of heat and bond adhesive, more fabrics and tools. On the bottom I have my pens and extra tissue paper when I made this garland. Since I don't get the best lighting in my room, I had to install extra vanity light bars around my window. I try to not use my softbox all the time because it just really clutters up my room a lot. So that's why it's up there. The curtains are from Target. On the right corner, I made this light marquee. And on the side, I hung a few accessories on these adorable animal hooks I found at the children's section on sale. So I spray painted them gold. They were like red, yellow, and blue. On my desk, I have a few gold supplies from Target like the tape dispenser, stapler, and a pair of scissors. My tissue box and mouse pad is a DIY I recently did. I got this ghost chair on Amazon. It's not as comfortable so you do have to add a blanket on top or a pillow. This is my headphones I used to edit, the blue snowball mic I used to do voiceovers like right now, and the 18 inch ring light is a great light for filming and photography. Love it. I have my vanity mirror too. It's kind of pricey, definitely don't recommend it, but it's nice to have. Facing the lack unit shelf slash wall divider, I have another IKEA Calyx cube storage with door inserts on the bottom. Brick, make you love me. In the back, I attach LED strip lights. The starter kit comes with a remote to change the color and intensity of the light. It's pretty cool and recommend this for closet lighting if you're in the mood for pink, yellow, orange, purple, even blue. You can change it up whatever you like. On top is a treats and tea bar for long work nights. I have a sweet tooth so it's nice to have. To keep my tea warm, I have one of these. Also can be used as a candle warmer if you can't light up a candle. That I am currently in love. Truth be told, I think you know that I am currently in love. Truth be told, I think you know. On the cake stand, I painted pumpkins we recently picked up from the farm and the Rubbermaid cubes that I owned for years fit perfectly inside to hold my documents and things. The other ones, I have more treats and drinks, so that's it. Thank you so much for hanging on all the way to the end. I know it's quite a long video. Share the love with hashtag Lisa Polano and hopefully if you have Instagram, I love to see those tags. I love y'all and see you soon. Bye. Mwah.